from. Oh, wait. Oh, we need a different background. Okay. Um, so, I have been doing meditation since pretty much forever. And one of the great things about meditation is that you don't really need anything to do it. Uh, not even a peaceful place or a quiet place. Uh, it's just that uh, being in a quiet place makes it a little bit easier. So, I'm pretty happy because this thing, uh, it's called Muse. And, um, you know, after using it uh, for about 20 times or so, I think I managed to to make it work in a sense. Uh, so this is supposed to uh, keep track of your brain activity and uh, while you meditate it makes different sounds on, on your headphones uh, depending on if you if your mind is busy or not. And uh, at the beginning I have to admit that it is very kind of distracting because it's a different day, a way of using your mind and as soon as you hear the sounds for me uh, you know the goal for example is to hear some birds which means that you have a very clear sky very empty mind and then you hear some birds and one of the things that was always happening is by the time I was hearing the birds then it was starting raining again because the birds were distracting me so I was starting to think, oh, a bird, that's so nice. <laughs> and this was a thought again. So it takes some time to get used to it. And another thing that was happening is at the beginning, it has a phase which is called calibration. And uh, it was kind of obvious to me that this um, affects a lot the, the measurements you get out of, of the app. So, Here, here is what you get out of a session, which shows how busy your mind is. Uh, and there are three different zones, and basically uh, the zones are defined by uh, your calibration states. So if you are in a very busy state, uh, so you actively think something during calibration, then the rest of the session will uh, be super calm and you will get lots of birds. Uh, on the other hand, and this happened a lot to me, uh, at the beginning of the session on the calibration it's a, sta it's a change of state. You're like, oh now I need to focus. So actually it happens to be super focused at that stage. <laughs> and so this makes uh, the rest of the session much more difficult because your baseline is uh, at a pretty calm state. Uh, but um, at the end, like at about 20 sessions, I don't know how many there will be for you, um, you start to actually not care about the birds or about the rain or about the score or if you're doing it right. And so, uh, you know, even if the calibration is, is uh, at a quite, quite calm state and the rest is, um, you know, you don't get many points or many birds or whatever, you're like, yeah, but it was a pretty good meditation anyway. Uh, so you, you stop caring about the exact numbers because uh, the, for me the main benefit you get out of this is not uh, the ma numbers and the monitoring and something to see as uh, you know I have to break my previous meditation score. Uh, no, it's just that like um, if you if you do meditation for years and I have been doing it um, maybe for ten years and apparently two thousand five hundred. 75 days non-stop uh, according to headspace um, the problem is that you get a little bit you you develop bad habits like uh, not having intention uh, allowing yourself a lot to just drift away uh, you know intention is a problem i think after lots of time so you you just go like oh yeah i was meditating but I actually spent the last three minutes thinking uh, okay it's not a problem but it's not ideal <laughs> and so this one it kind of tells you gives you some reinforcement telling you hey you know so 
typically it would take three minutes until you realize you're thinking, but now it's a little bit of a sound. And you're like, oh, actually we don't want this sound. So you develop these reflexes of, of okay, let's go back, let's calm down and let's focus. And so it might happen after 30 seconds. Um, and that means that actually you will go through more cycles of getting local back than, uh, you know, spending five minute meditation, two minutes being lost in thought, one recovery, and then that's it. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a useful tool. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think this is like for the most beginner necessarily because all those numbers will certainly confuse people. Uh, but um, if, if you know what you're looking for and you know how to use it for your own goals, I know that other people have uh, different goals or whatever they have anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, what I'm trying to say is this will not work instantly, but after a few sessions you will make it work and uh, certainly it does what it says, so it tracks something. Maybe you will notice that it tracks uh, basically muscle movements uh, or if you move your eyes a lot, it will track that too, I think. So a lot of interference in a sense, but give it a break and, uh, you know, give it space to work and it will, it will work. So, uh, yeah, that's my news. After about 20 sessions, I think this thing is uh, positively working. Thanks for watching.